Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Lemmings Uncharted. KYN here. And, um, so last time, solved two levels for once. Well, not for once. Um, I guess it happened earlier in the rank. But, uh, last time, solved two more levels of the Aqu Aquarius rank. So that kind of felt pretty good. Um, kind of, uh, uh, like reassures me that, um, that I'll be fine, uh, for the rest of the rank. Although, I'm not gonna get my hopes up soon. Especially since the rank already started up. Uh, Pretty difficult. Yeah, despite the fact that I played an outdated version of the first level. Uh, but anyway, like I said before, uh, with the progress that's currently going on, so two more levels, and so um, making slow but steady progress. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into the Let's Play now. So next up, we have Aquarius 8. Purity and Industry. 40 lemmings, 40 to be saved. Ooh, uh, those appear to be like the raindrops. I'm gonna guess that they're animated though. Yeah, I don't think they're like um terrain pieces that are in the way. Oh uh, yes. So it's the animated rain. That's pretty awesome. So animated rain in the Highland Tower set here. Okay, um where's the exit? Right here. Okay, only one builder, so obviously we can't make our way up here. I mean, they're not a pre assigned yeah, it's not a pre assigned hatch, okay. Okay, which means we either have to come from the top, or we'll have to take the middle ground. Yeah, somebody tells me that we will have to take the middle. Um, Evil flower trap there. Okay, and we need to, need to say everybody. So if we use the blocker, we will have to um, uh, free him later. Okay, and only one builder. Okay, so it looks like we'll have to like do a lot of the um, building from the other side, it appears. Mm, how many bastards do we have? We have four. Um, um, it probably seems that it takes like two bastards at the beginning there. Okay, um... I think right at the start, I can already tell that we cannot, like, completely go over the top since um, there's a lot of gaps here. Yeah, here there's already three gaps. Yeah, well, we have, like, one huge gap over here. Yeah, so it's pretty clear that we must take the... Oh, actually, no, there's there's a... Oh, yeah, but the cloud reaches up to the ceiling, I believe. Yeah, I believe uh, right there is where they walk off the top of the screen. So, here we would definitely have to take the middle ground. I think that's the right way to go. So, that's one gap. And then another gap here, and another one there. So, that's three. Yeah, and then... And that's way more than enough constructor skills that we have, since we have five of them. Uh, this should be a pretty interesting level, where uh, we we'll, only have one type of digging destructor skill. Yeah, and four the platformers and only one builder. Okay, um... Oh yes, I believe uh, we already had this music play before, except this one includes the uh, sound effect of uh, raindrops falling. Okay, so it tells me that this is going to be pretty similar to um, another Highland low of uh, Amani's. Yeah, like the, the game at pl Plateau, where yeah, if you take the obvious route, then um, yeah, you're just gonna always end up a skill short. No, this actually takes two um, uh, constructor skills. Okay. So yeah, it appears that we will definitely have to build there. Oh, uh, actually, we can also use two platformers. One and then two. Yeah, and then that leaves us with a platformer left. Okay, can he get up there? Oh, he can. Okay. So no basher required there. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, I could use a glider, but once he starts climbing up here, then he's just gonna, uh, land 
down here and then walk the other way and then eventually into the water. Um, we do have some jumpers though, so. Nope, not like that. Um, we do have a walker though. Seems that we have to jump and then, you know, the platform up this gap first. And then here as well. Okay, and then we get to here. Yep, and then we're gonna be a platformer short. I, I'm sorry, not a platformer, basher short. So it oh, this one looks to be almost a straightforward low. Wait, one basher short? Yeah, yeah, one basher short. Yeah, so that does not seem to be um, the correct way to go about this. So yes, I really feel like this would be one of those levels where, um, yeah, you don't do this correctly, you're going to be a skill short every time. Yeah, and already right here, it appears to like require a extending a basher or something. And then again, it's probably like going over the top there as well. Yeah, say I get not a climber. Yeah, and then maybe, just maybe. Yeah, um, if we put this platformer correctly, let's see where this ends up. Okay, it ends up over there. Oops. Okay. Can we do the same thing with this water pump? Two, one. Yeah, then the, then we'll be a platform for short there. Um. Yeah, it does seem necessary that we will need to um, pull back the crowds somehow here. Um. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, the last basher is like right there. Um, it might be a possibility that we will have to um, uh, take the bottom route as well. Uh, let's see though. Yeah, what happens if we? Let's say we build first. Yeah, then would he be able to reach the bottom here? Yeah, he would. Okay, and then he climbs up here. Um, where would that end up? Where would he end up? So, oh yeah, he's already a climber. Okay, he lands there. Oh, then he climbs off the top, doesn't he? Yeah, and then would I force to use like a basher there? Um, yeah, what does he even end up as a glider here? Yeah, he ends up there. Okay, he ends up here though, so therefore a jumper is not necessary. Okay, um, yeah, one more platformer there, and then, um, yeah, then we get to here, um, I don't think there is much that we can do here, until I possibly extend a basher and stuff. Uh, then again, here I can see using a builder to, um, extend this basher. Yeah, that's something I can see though. 
Yeah, it's always a possibility, I would think. So, for example, what if... What if I gave him a walker to turn around? And yeah, what would he end up... Oh, he ends up hitting this wall and then... Yeah, damn, we can't really turn him around again. Uh, we can jump, though. We can use a jumper, though. That's a possibility. Yeah, once he's high enough, I think. Yep. Yeah, and then here we can use a builder to extend a basher. So, this would mean that we have to use two platforms right here. And yeah, and then that means the remaining, uh, what do you call it, um, platformers go here. So, one, two, uh, three and four. Yep, I think that might work. Let's see, though. So, it appears that we will have to do some pretty good timing here. Uh, but then again, yeah, the one that goes over the top here is going to fall through the water. And that's a problem because he does not... Oh, uh, we can use a jumper. Probably. Um, yeah, but here I think we will have to time the release of another climber so that he can glide down there. Yeah, or maybe we don't have to time it at all. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, and then we can platform up this gap again. Um, yeah, I mean, I could cancel it with a walker, but I don't feel good about doing that, though. Okay, with a jumper, he can make it across. Um, yeah, I think he's gonna climb up there and splat. Um, yeah, this seems to be a problem, though. So if only there was a way to like not have him be required to like platform again uh, and then have to like cancel him later. Yeah, and he barely makes it over. Or rather, barely not make it over. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, then again, we can probably like release the crowd and like wait. No, no, no. I think I'm, I think I'm being a dummy here. Yeah, because here I believe we could just simply use a pass-through blocker. Yeah, so that he will turn around eventually. Okay, this bottom lemon goes to here. The other guy, he's right there. Okay. Okay. One more basher there, and then, um, and then the last one's right there. Uh, this appears to be one of those where they have to meet at the exact same time. Oh, and he's bots there. Okay, well, that's a problem now, isn't it? Yeah, because only a glider can get down here safely.
Oh, that's way above splat height. Yeah, that's a problem. Um... Someone down there. Yeah, I was thinking uh, we probably had to like time to. Oh, actually, I also need to get a jumper over here as well. Um. Okay, so that doesn't exactly work out. Yeah, and plus if he goes back over the top. Yeah, then he would just glide back down here and then do the entire thing over again. Yeah, and here we don't have a way to like get him down there. Yeah, since this gap will be closed off. So, I feel like something is wrong here. Um. Yeah, I already used two bashers in the beginning there. Um. On the other hand, what would this glider end up if we like bash through there? Okay, let's just use a pass through blocker there. Yeah, let me see what that glider ends up when we bash through here. Oh, he ends up in the water, okay. Using a glider here. Oh wait, he's gonna bounce off. Okay, and then we get to down there. And then he can jump the other way, so then he goes that way. And then he'll glide onto there. Yeah, this guy is doomed. Oh, uh, actually, no, not unless I put the platform right there first. Before the other one arrives. So, no, I don't think it was necessary to time the climbers there. So, no, let's not send out another climber. Yeah, let's go ahead and release the crowd here. Okay, and then you go ahead and bash through here. Yeah, so that this leaves us with the following skill set. Okay, if only I was able to get the glider down here now, but because the gap is sealed off, yeah, I'm not able to. Yeah, I still feel like um, extending the basher here with the builder is the way to go, though. Bashing through there, only have a basher left. Yeah, so even if I did send him over the top without using a jumper over there. Yeah, and I've already used a jumper to make him go this way to platform up the gaps there. Um, hmm. 
deceivingly difficult level here. I guess I can't really be surprised there, considering this is the final rank of the pack. Um... No. Oh, I think I just barely saw an arrow right here. <laughs> Uh, oh no, I did not use the builder yet. Um... Yeah, so I can definitely see a lot of things going wrong here. Uh, what would the other climber be used for? Um... Well, I think there's like a tiny gap here, um, in which he can like bounce off a blocker. Yeah, but I think that would require a jumper though. At least I think it does. Uh, but then again, go up. There. Um, yeah, if he makes his way back up. Um, and I believe also he can like just go out this way too. Um, That's what the other blockers for. Um, yeah, it seems to already required a lot of block, out oh, a lot of jumpers. Um, climb up. Yeah, perhaps some of the low is not for purely for decoration, though. Yeah, it might even be vital to the um, solution. Yeah, let me see where this glider will end up. Ends up there. Also, I don't even know if they can, if you can like uh, glide down there from from the point of impact right there. No, you cannot. Um, you see. Is it possible to let? No, it's not possible to jump over. Although, yeah, maybe that's what the other climber's for. Yeah, I could be wrong there, though. down there. Yeah, and then it appears that we have the exact same thing. Yeah, this is what happened, and then he drowns. Um, we attempt to jump, then um, yeah, he's just gonna fall down splat. So it seems like the only way through is to like platform across, but um, yeah, we still had this though. Um, yeah, and if you manage to jump the other way, then, um, um, you can go over the top and then, yeah, you can, like, get down here. 
Yeah, that is, if I don't see all that gap, which would require, like, using a jumper there. Yeah, I would think. Yeah, could probably, could probably even go over the top, too, but, um... Yeah, that would require that we use a platformer there. And then, we use two more there. Yeah, then we don't have enough gaps, I mean, enough for these water gaps. Um... Yeah, let me see what happens if we platform and then uh, have him jump across. Okay, and then let's have him glide. As a matter of fact, is it even possible for him to land there? No, it's not. Yeah, not unless he gets up here or something. Yeah, he gets over the top there. Yeah, and then he can go that way. Uh, maybe that's what the climber's for. Yeah, he glides on there. Then we block here. Yeah, he turns around. And then he can glide down there. But I unfortunately do not have a jumper anymore. Yeah, so that he can, like, land here. Let's see. Bash. Bash. And one final bash right there. Yeah, if only I, if only I had a jumper right now. Um. Yeah. And also, if I can get somewhere here to that platform, yeah, then he would not splat. He will land down here safely. Uh, yeah, this is definitely feeling like the Gamma Plateau. Where you kind of like, uh, take the obvious route, you're gonna be a skill short. Um... Yeah, again, like I said, if I had a jump... Yeah, and to get down here requires a glider. Um, yeah, and we still need to close the gap off with another platformer, so... Um, yeah. This is probably another one of those levels where... Yeah, you do the sequencing of the skills wrong. Yeah, you're not gonna get the low solved. So, I might be doing the order wrong here somewhere. Um... I mean, I can't have him glide down here first. Yeah, and then I have him jump here, but um... Um, but again, yeah, if the glider is over here, then there's really like no way to get over here, at least without using a platformer and stuff. Yeah, and it should be very clear that the crowd needs to take this route here. So it seems that the bashers are already determined, or at least one of them. A basher definitely goes here. And, uh, I feel like we definitely need the bash through here as well. Um, hmm. One, two, three. So, no, it looks like that we cannot use a platformer to extend the basher there. Yeah, because we're gonna run our skills for this part. Um... Hmm. Hmm. 
let's see. Um, yeah, one dead bastard is there. We could possibly use one there. At least us with two. And then we use a builder here to extend one. That's one more. And if we did that, yeah, then we would probably have to extend this as well. But, um, yeah, since this requires two constructor skills to get over. Um, yeah, it's like, it's probably not intended to extend the basher there. Or here, I should say. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a deceivingly difficult one as well. Um, yeah, if I jump the other way, yeah, then I can get here to platform up these gaps. Um, it's possible, it's possible that the jumper's not even needed there. Uh, but then again, if we don't use a jumper, we're not going to be able to get over here. So far, the only way I can think of to get over here is to use a jumper while he's climbing here. Um, and again, the only way to get a lemon to the bottom here is to use a glider. Um, Perhaps this uses a like a really obscure trick or so. Um, hmm. Um. So the only way through here at first is to like use a glider. I mean we could platform. Yeah. And at least two more for these water gaps. And then at least one left. Which again, we need two constructor skills over here. Um It might be a possibility that we would use a platformer here instead, but anyway, I kind of have a feeling that that's not um, the right way to go. I still feel a platformer is not likely here. Yeah, it doesn't really do much to like extend a basher anyway.
Okay, so we get to here. And then, let's say we release the crowd here. And, you know, just plop out the gap completely. Yeah, put a blocker there. Uh, karma goes over. Probably not gonna help here, but um. Oh. It results in the same thing as if we use the jump over here instead. Yeah, so we get this, and then he goes back over the top here. But there's really no escape since, um, yeah, we close off the gap completely though. And the easiest way to release the blocker is with a walker. But uh, at the same time, we do have bashers that we can use to release it. the blocker there. I would think that's the uh, 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 very likely to be the case since um, after closing out the gap, yeah, someone will turn around. Um, yeah, and then when we get the glider to down here, um, yeah, this would happen right there. Um, it's possible that we might want to go the other way as well. I can have him go down here as a glider again. Okay, and then... Okay, he ends up hitting that, okay. Um... Yeah, that's a problem. Apparently, if we try bashing through here, we'll just glide and end up. He ends up right there, okay. Yeah, but we still need a basher here and one right there. Yeah, therefore, it would be a skill short to release the um, crowd. Just as I thought, he would just go off the top of the level there. Yeah, there isn't any way to get here except for the jumper. Um. So let's think this over again. Two of the platformers definitely go through here. Yeah, that's for the crowd. So that leaves us with two platformers left. Yeah, and we do need two constructor skills for this gap here. Um, pretty sure this is where the platformers go. Because if we use the builder here, we can extend the basher.
Um, yeah, and um, yeah, if I just like to climb or climb up here. Yeah, then he glides back down here. Um, just would kind of suggest that I maybe using a like a um, jumper just to get over the gap there. Um, poss possibly even my like, platform on the other side too. But um. Um, But if we did that, then yeah, the only jumper left that we have available can be used here for a climber to like get on here. Um, I mean, unless that happens to be wrong as well. I highly doubt that the um, platformer is used to um, extend a basher there. Um, yeah, um, I don't exactly know if this is one of those levels that Amani told me where, um, yeah, if it requires that obscure blocker trick from Libra 6, then um, it's that was practically impossible to solve. Um, then again, he didn't really list this as a potential guess of a, to be a roadblock uh, for players. So maybe it doesn't require it here, but um, it might, it might still though. Um, Um, hmm. Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure what else there is to do here. Um, Yeah, the only thing I can think of here is like maybe cancel him with a walker instead. Um, hmm. Yeah, I am not sure. And this one can only be accessible with a glider um hmm perhaps I'm not figuring out the use of one of the climbers correctly here um I feel like maybe putting a platformer there would be like too high for them. Uh, too high for a basher. Um, yeah, and again, I could use a jumper to get across. 
Um, but I feel like that's not going to do much good. Um, yeah, I'm going to glide onto there. But uh, yeah, you still need to like, prepare these platformers though. Um, yeah, then we get to over here. Um, wow. <laughs> This is a very deceivingly difficult level. Um. Uh, then again, another thing I can think of is like, um, Two platformers go at the exact same time. No, I think I sent up a little too early that time. The second climber. This really wouldn't change anything, I would think. Yeah, because that and the climber is still going to go over here. Um, anyways, yeah, let me just put a blocker there for the time being. Okay, jump this way. Yeah, the bash I mean the platform would be too far away. At least I'm pretty sure it will be. Yeah, exactly, it seems too far away to keep on going. doesn't really do much good here. Um, as for the other guy, yeah, for the other climber, yeah, there isn't much that he can do here. Yeah, he can't go on there. The guy would end up in the water here. So, yeah, even by having the platformers go together so that no one turns around, yeah, it still doesn't make too much of a difference, it appears. Um... Yeah, and if I try platforming a little further back... Yeah, I don't think it exactly covers the gap either. Yeah, and like, it's like short 
by a pixel there. Yeah, short by a pixel. Um... Honestly, I have no other ideas for the time being. Um, yeah, the only thing I could think of was to like, use a jump to get across the gap while closing it off completely. Um, yeah, but... Um, when the climber goes back over the top, yeah, then he can like bounce into a blocker to go down here. Uh, but the problem would be right here. Yeah, where I would need a jumper in order to like get into the middle platform here. Uh, if I use um, a walker to turn around the platform up here, um, yeah, then he could just make his way back over. Um, Yeah, it would require that I use a jumper so that I don't close that gap. And then I use a walker to like turn around. Um, yeah, but then we get into this problem where if we do attempt to close off the gap, then um, um, the platformer will turn around. It's a really big problem. Then again, I could probably, um, oh, actually, no, it's not gonna work because I would have had this gap sealed off so that the glider cannot get down here. Yeah, and then once the non climber climbs up here, then he's gonna fall down and splat. Um,. Yeah, I am out of ideas. Yeah, so I feel like I will have to come back to this one later. Yeah, and I realized that I've um, been pondering my way through this while, uh, while the game's paused for quite a while. Uh, but then again, I think a lot of my videos have been that way, so... Um, and it doesn't seem to uh, be bothering people too much, so... Um, I guess I shouldn't be too worried about that. Yeah... There might just be something really obscure going on here. Yeah. And although the other possibility is that I might just even be thinking about the solution incorrectly. Okay, uh, you know what. I'm gonna go ahead and make a cut here. Um... Yeah, I can't really think of anything else right now, so, um... I'll come back later with, like, a fresher mind or something. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.